Last time I posted about fixing hard closing doors on an old Chevy by replacing the striker bolts, I got many comments about alternative ways to do it cheaper. As in, fixing 50 door strikers for $2 instead of fixing 4 for $28. Yes, you heard me right. This video is to show those alternatives and share my thoughts about them. There's two common ways to fix your hard closing doors without having to remove the striker bolt, which might be preferable for the blazer owners who don't have an access hole to easily retrieve the striker bolt nut after it falls to the bottom of the pillar. You can wrap the striker bolt in electrical tape or cut and splice a piece of PEX pipe and slip it over the striker. Some people claim the electrical tape lasts many years. That wasn't the case for me, so I won't be testing that method again, but it does work well for a time and is extremely cheap to do. The half inch PEX pipe is okay. It needs to be split lengthwise to fit over the striker bolt, which lets you put it on easily without removing the bolt, but I'm not a fan of fixing things with broken stuff, which sounds harsh, but the need to split it makes it a no for me, unless you have a blazer, like I mentioned earlier in the video. The PEX pipe cost under $2 for five feet of it. And that's enough to cut into pieces for 60 striker bolts. Way overkill, but a fun stat to share. The third option is one I have yet to see on the internet and may deserve me a new subscribe from you. This option is half inch drip irrigation tubing. This one requires removing the striker bolt, which may mean the backing nut falls down into the pillar, which requires removing the interior trim from the pillar and using a magnet on a stick to pull it back up on a Suburban. Not sure about other pickups, but my 1985 K20 has no trim blocking the striker bolt, so that's easy. And as mentioned, best of luck to you if you drop the nut in a blazer. Compared to the replacement striker bolt from Amazon, the irrigation tubing feels much softer in comparison. Not sure if that will increase wear or if it'll make it easier for the components to glide across the striker bolt and reduce wear. Not sure how that will go. This is the option I've chosen to test long term, so we'll see how it does to compare to the other three striker bolts I recently replaced with the bolts from Amazon. At the end of the day, I prefer the Allen head on the new replacement bolts and believe the plastic sleeve will last longer on them. If I had to make an official recommendation, I would still say to get the replacement striker bolts from Amazon. They're more expensive at 15 bucks for two bolts compared to $2 for a bunch of tubing, but $15 for two striker bolts is still affordable enough. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.